When a trader comes to Carbon and takes an order, what happens to that order? This is the depth chart for the TKN stable pair on Carbon. This chart represents all the buy and sell orders that are currently live for your favorite token paired with your favorite stablecoin. In this chart, there are range orders, overlapping portions of which have deeper liquidity, and limit orders, which are not the focus of this video. Both range and limit orders can be linked to create a strategy with rotating liquidity. Let's zoom in and examine just one of these strategies. This chart is for a strategy which has two range orders that are linked together. Each range order is a continuous hyperbola, which are special math words that we are going to ignore. This strategy has 100 stable and 0 TKN, with a buy range from $85 to $117.64, with the average being at 100, and a sell range from $185 to $216.22, with the average being at 200. The price of the token is $150, and the price starts to dip. The way the trader interacts with this strategy follows six rules. Carbon knows the balance of the buy order and the high score. Carbon knows there is 100 stable in the buy range and the high score is 100. Carbon knows the balance of the sell order and the high score. Carbon knows the sell range is empty and the high score is zero. Liquidity leaving one order causes liquidity to enter the other order. Liquidity empties from closest to furthest. As the price dips, traders will eat through the liquidity which is closest to the spot. Liquidity fills from furthest to closest, unless there is a new high score. The sell range is empty and has never had any TKN, so let's look at the next rule. If there is a new high score, then the liquidity is distributed over the whole range. Each incremental buy in this buy range is trading away stable to receive TKN, and each incremental piece of TKN added to the sell range is a new high score. So all of the TKN bought is evenly distributed across the whole sell range. The range buy has been filled, and now the price pumps. The buy order is empty, and the high score is 100 stable. The sell order is full, and the high score is 1 TKN. When the price pumps and hits 185, traders will start taking TKN for stable. That stable will go back into the buy order, and the stable liquidity will fill from furthest to closest. Each incremental sell of TKN will go to fill the buy range from furthest to closest until 100 stable is in the buy range. At the exact moment when enough TKN has been sold for 100 stable, the buy range will be completely refilled and is in the exact same configuration as when the strategy started. If more stable is added to the buy range, there will be a new high score. Because there is a new high score, each additional increment of TKN, which is sold for stable, will see that stable evenly distributed across the whole buy range, making the entire range more liquid. When the entire sell range is empty, there will be 0 TKN in the sell range and 200 stable in the buy range. And now the price dumps. This time, there is 200 stable in the buy range. Each incremental buy of TKN will go to fill the sell range from furthest to closest, until 1 TKN is in the sell range. At the exact moment when enough stable has been spent for 1 TKN, the sell range will be completely refilled. If more TKN is added to the sell range, there will be a new high score. Because there is a new high score, each additional increment of stable, which is spent on TKN, will see that TKN evenly distributed across the whole sell range, making the entire range more liquid. These six rules are a summary to help you understand how linked orders behave. This is not an exhaustive list. 